So should you use heavy weapons in Starfield? Some heavy weapons are bad, but there are some heavy weapons that are quite good, and if you were to use the heavy weapons perk, heavy weapons certification, what ranks should you get? So the first three ranks are a no-brainer because it's 10% damage increase per rank. Uh, getting the 100 kills to unlock the fourth rank might take you a minute. I recommend going to alien planets and just finding huge groups of aliens and just blowing them up. Um, that's the best way to do it, honestly. Uh, the fourth rank, 25% physical resist while aiming down sight. So physical damage resist. Uh, basically, if something hits you with physical damage, you just take 25% less while aiming. So aiming, as far as I can tell, includes stuff like this. So like this is aiming with heavy weapons. It's kind of unclear. So for example, I'm pretty sure this counts as aiming. So when you aim with the cutter, it kind of like focuses it. The cutter is a heavy weapon. Obviously, this is aiming. So the weapons where you clearly are aiming down sight, that's where you would be getting that damage resist. Now, is that damage resist worth it? Not really. I would say it's better off. You're better off using other perks or just getting better armor. Uh, for heavy weapons, I think you should pair it with specific things as well. So there are ballistic heavy weapons, from what I can tell. Uh, there's also explosive heavy weapons and, of course, laser heavy weapons. So you, like, you want to pair this with like another thing. Uh, particle beam, I'm not sure if there's a particle beam heavy weapon, but I'll show you some heavy weapons I have. Uh, this is on a character who just beat the um, Terramorph quest line. So let's go over the weapons I have, just for an example. Uh, this rivet gun seems to be terrible. I'm going to demo this, but this thing is really bad. Um, it, the damage is a lie. It does like 50 damage on headshot. It seems really terrible. I don't know what's up with this, but the cutter can be decent with lasers because you set dudes on fire, and in some cases it can be good at killing low-level enemies. The smart gun has pretty good damage, and you can also use uh, ballistics with this to scale its damage even further. Uh, Reckless Bombardment gets scaled by explosives, so you can get the 50% larger explosion radius, the 50% damage reduction to your, your own explosives, as well as 50% damage increase. So explosives work well with this. Same thing with the bridge heavy weapon. Uh, this is a rare bridge, essentially. Shattered Shock breaks through armor so it basically just hits through armor now of these weapons i would say like the minigun or the smart gun is kind of like your main weapon the ammo is very common 7.7 .7 millimeter is very common so it's pretty good in terms of just like getting ammo buying ammo some of these weapons like reckless bombardment and bridge or shattered shock or or aquila killer whatever one you want to run the 40 millimeter XPL seems to only generate in stores at higher levels. It's slowly generating in stores for me at level 21. This is what I'm assuming. Uh, this is what I've noticed. Like, I almost never find it in stores. So if you want to use this as your main weapon, good luck with that because you're just never going to get ammo for it. Uh, the rivet gun. All right, so let's demo some of these weapons. Let's start with a good weapon. <laughs> we'll start with this uh, huge AoE hornet nest thing that uses 40 millimeter xpl rounds this is on very hard mode this will delete these because they're like low level enemies but it's pretty cracked it's pretty much one shots most low level and mid-level things and as i invest in you know heavy guns heavy weapons cert and then demolitions it will scale the damage even further once i get rank two and then rank four i'll get up to 50 percent more damage which is pretty substantial because you have to consider that most of their things just increase damage by 30%. So you get 30% increase from this, 50% from that. Now for a ballistics weapon, anything that basically shoots a physical projectile that isn't explosive, uh, the rivet gun would be affected. As far as I can tell, the rivet gun is hot garbage. So let's demo that. Let's just like line up. Yeah, 25. Look at how low, <laughs> it does like no damage. It says it does 150 too. It also has travel time, so you have to get used to that. And if you move, it's wildly inaccurate. So I think the rivet gun is a meme weapon. Maybe there's like some modifications that make it good, but it seems really bad. The headshot damage is like seemingly bugged where it doesn't deal headshot damage consistently. And it's just kind of bad. Now this weapon, uh, the Aquila Killer, the bridge, heavy, whatever. I think that's the base version. It's just called the bridge rifle or something. It shoots explosive rounds. Now I missed him there, I think. There we go. So I hit him directly, he dies. <laughs> it pretty much kills things in one shot. This one has a scope on it for some reason. But, yeah, it's pretty good. 
that uses the 40 XPL rounds. Now, this thing is, I think, your main weapon. You get this at the Vanguard store in the commercial district, or the UC store, whatever, UC supplier. This thing is good at range. You just have to be accurate. You have to, like, aim for the head, even at far away, or, like, even at far ranges. It just, like, rips through people. It gets armor penetration as a default. It's the N67 smart gun. I have a guide that shows you where to get this, but this uses very common ammo. It's really good. You can't go wrong using this. And then, of course, it doesn't hurt to have a cutter. Now, if you want to use this to clean up weak enemies or just to kill weak enemies, you can hold down aim or right click. Just track heads, deals pretty good damage as long as you can track heads with the focused shot, you know? So the, the crosshair looks like that. You can see how it's like unfocusing. So that's it's like the general overview for heavy weapons, I would say. Uh, there are other heavy weapons. Um, there's the, that like arc welder thing. It sucks, don't use it. <laughs> like I tried using it with lasers four. This is a laser build, like with lasers four and it still sucks. Lasers four with the cutter can actually melt terramorphs right now i don't know if this is a bug but if they patch it currently when it sets them on fire it does insane damage and kills them faster than most things in the game because the burn damage is like 50 to 200 per tick and then you can you can get this stacking burn effect so that they take multiple instances of that burn so it's pretty cracked pretty crazy really good against terramorphs and certain things uh, it gets average enemies the burn damage is okay but I would say this smart gun should be your main workhorse if you do plan on running heavy weapons. They are pretty good. There are pros and cons. Uh, the rarity, like the scarcity of some of the ammo is a big con for like this weapon. Now obviously this is a great weapon. It like staggers when you hit things for the most part. It does AOE damage. Has good range. Pretty much just deletes whatever you hit with it. However, I did make a video showcasing a shotgun build that uses the Coachman and the Hornet Nest ammo, and that is significantly better than this weapon because it uses caseless shotgun shells, which are very common and very cheap. So that's a much better option, and it also scales with shotguns and explosives, whereas this scales with heavy weapons and demolitions. Or I'm sorry, explosives, demolitions, same thing. Uh, but that's a better explosive option. You do need weapon engineering four as well as special project one to unlock that unless you find a hornet's nest coachman uh, but that being said heavy weapons are good um they're viable it is worth it to run them to some degree you're probably going to be using more like spending more credits just for the ammo types like just for the ammo because like they tend they tend to use rare ammo or they tend to use a lot of ammo like, very few heavy weapons use, like, a reasonable amount of ammo. This gun especially is going to cost you a lot of money to use because it just burns through ammo. It kills things. It melts enemies pretty quickly, but it does burn through ammo. You do have to rev it up. So you can cosplay as heavy weapons guy from TF2. Now, the reduced physical damage is useful, obviously, because with weapons like this, it's continuous fire. So you're going to be getting shot while you're fighting things. So keep that in mind if you're debating on getting tier 4 or not. It can be worth it. Now obviously if you're using something like this, if you find your XPL ammo somehow, not as useful because you can just peek shoot so you don't have to get shot as much. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. Just wanted to talk about the heavy weapon certs as well as show some of the heavy weapons, the pros and cons of some of them as well, and go over if overall they're worth it or not. Uh, but thank you for checking this out. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one.